Oh, look at this front garden. I need to give you guys a tour of that. It's come on very well. How are you? This is Martin from Gardens for Life. In this video, I'm going to show you how we package our plants and send them out uh, by courier. First, we pick them up, then we bring them to our greenhouse, and then we package them, and then we bring them off to the town to send off by courier. This is an updated version of uh, the video that we made some time ago. It was quite popular, so I thought I might as well make a new one showing the process in a bit more detail. And I put a link for the old video in the description below. Don't forget, plants are still available on our website. Um, you can get 10% off with this uh, discount code for the summer sale. Don't forget, the seed and plant swap is coming up on Sunday week, uh, the 3rd of July, here in Roscommon in Ireland. So take a look at the link below for more details. Well, this is our little nursery here, and we have lots of plants. And that's what I would normally do. I would just come here and pick these up. This is just a berry, for example, or black currants. Oh, look at the amount of berries on that one, and that's only in a pot. And the ladybird poppies are still going strong. Here's a few more plants, some golden yarrow and thyme there, salt bush, flowering currants. Yeah, they're, they're one year old now, they're fairly big now in that pot. They have lovely pink flowers but no berries, but still worth planting. It's great for the insects. We have some elderberries and hollyhocks and all the rest. We need another yarrow. Comfrey and a goji berry. So that's what I do. I normally drive the van up closer uh, into the nursery belt, but um, in this case I'm only picking up a few additions because I'm missing those and I have the rest of them in the greenhouse already. So now that I have collected the plants and each of the orders, you can see them here. There's another one. Right, so we'll take the first one and we'll wrap it. Uh, this is just a um, regular cling film from a farm shop, it's really strong. And um, we're gonna wrap it up so that the compost doesn't fall out. Always make sure that you put the wrap all the way in on the top. And you hold the, always hold it tight, pull it tight when you're moving the plastic along. Watch the leaves here and push the plastic down. The entire point of the plastic is to simply keep the soil in the pot. Okay, two, two times around and then we poke it with our thumb to hold it and then we wrap it like that and it will stick. And that's, that's it. Then we take our label, so this is a, a Worcester berry, which is a cross between um, gooseberry and a black currant. And that's it. So then what I do is for a box, for eight plants for example, I take a, a box out of a supermarket, for example a little, here in Ireland. And one for a lid. To make a lid. Only have to do like this. Don't cut yourself. That's it, and now you got a lid. Fits perfectly. You can also do it uh, free-handed like that. 
However, my shoulder uh, is still a little bit sore because uh, I broke my collarbone about five weeks ago. And um, it's okay though, I can do it gently. Well, attaching it to the table definitely helps me at the moment. Normally I would um, wrap it like this freehand with me. You can get a real good grip into it. And then break the plastic. And that's it. All wrapped. It definitely makes you stronger, uh, just wrapping the plants, kind of uses all of the different muscles in the arms. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our sticks. You could use willow sticks or hazel sticks. Um, that's what we normally use, but we don't have any left. And uh, this is what we have now. We got them off some plants that we bought ourselves. And all we do then is we just um, poke. Let me just get rid of one. We poke the top of the plant like that. And poke it all the way down, push it all the way down so that the stick goes all the way through to here. And we take, I won't be able to do this with one hand. So then we take another plant without a stick and we just poke it through. And then we have just the right distance for our box. We take our plants and the stick, I cut it to the right size, to the right length. That's it, and we just continue from here. And when we pack our plants, we put in a card, put in a sticker if you're lucky, and free packet of seeds in this case, Portuguese scale. Maybe even two or three packets of seed, depending on how many we have made up. At the moment we're a little short, so we're going to throw in a little bit of um, a basil mint, actually, too. And what we do is just put it in another bag. You can reuse the bag. It'll be okay. It'll be clean. Um, the reason why we put it in the bag is because sometimes the seed packets are so small that they can actually they can come out through this hole here. And if it's in a bag like that, in a big bag, they can't escape from the box. We always like to share the abundance that nature gives us. And then we put the lid on and we tuck in any leaves that might be sticking out. And we'll just wrap that up with tape now. The box is not quite high enough for the plants. So the way we solve that is we simply push it down like this and hopefully without any leaves sticking out so we push it down like that and then tape it for tape we use ordinary packing tape will do fine even Aldi and Lidl sometimes have it for sale if you want to buy it really cheaply the cheap stuff is almost as good as the really expensive stuff so we just make sure we push it down gonna be noisy. Push it in. And always keep the pressure on, on the tape, because if you don't stretch it, it won't actually close it properly. Make sure that you push, or always pull, and push the box together in the beginning. Okay, now we take the secretaries. Make sure that you get the end very well. Make sure it sticks. Now we'll do the other side. So three laps around and poke it and stick it. 
and then we take you see the gap here now this is, this is a little bit of a problem I don't like the fact that there is a gap here so I'm going to actually tape that a little bit it's good for air to get in of course for the plants so there's no harm at all I mean the box will not um, it won't fall apart or the lid won't come off by itself in transit but uh, it is solid as it is now but just for aesthetics more or less we're going to tape across as well so we take the long side we go all the way to the bottom here and then push down and pull the tape always pull like pull it this way so that it's really strong that's what sticks it and then we push down the box the end, all the way to the bottom here that's to rub it so that it sticks and then we simply cut it off for example like that with the secretaires and there you go just make sure you don't tape the end of it underneath because uh, if you slide the packet in and out of lockers or vans or whatever it will t it will loosen the end and it will it might actually open up the whole uh, the whole length of tape so I'll do another one on the other side and that's it so all we need now is the address label for data protection reasons I can't show you the front of it of course because there's someone's address on it but what we do is we take one of these label these sleeves Open it up first, slide it into it, and it's always best to um, take the tape off after you add the paper or the shipping label, and then we take it back off because otherwise the plastic actually just crinkles up and it gets stuck on you, it gets stuck together. So we take that and we tape it. We make sure that's very well stuck on okay we take uh, of course one of our magic stickers that gives the packet a bit of color that's all there is to it so then this packet goes off to the van and then off to parcel motel that's how we ship things at the moment inside of ireland for northern ireland we use dpd and for inside of ireland we use ups or parcel motel so um for smaller stuff, we usually use the post office. Hello, mother. All right, so these are some of the plants that still need to be uh, boxed up. Get them to get them ready for sending by courier. So I'm going to move these out and move in all the ones that have been boxed up already. So these are all the boxes that are going out today thanks a million to those of you who bought some plants in our summer plant sale there are still plants available on our website if you're interested and um, for those of you still waiting um, there is some of them are going out today and the rest of them tomorrow there's a the big apple over scumming town we're just on the way to the post office where we are going to just gonna send off the smaller stuff like the envelopes oh, here we are at the Parsa Motel UPS owns the company now so it's still the best way and the best value to ship stuff off especially large boxes of plants can be quite hard to scan sometimes Ooh. 
And that's all there is to it. Now let's do the rest of these. I really appreciate you guys watching our videos. Um, thanks a million and uh, please give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. And um, you can follow us as well on our website. Uh, if you just go to gardensforlife.ie forward slash subscribe then you can uh, sign up to our email list where we send you occasional updates and we sometimes have an old raffle and that kind of thing as well. We have another video, an older video, of how we package the plants as well. If you're really interested you could watch that too but we have evolved in our methods a little bit and um, but I think we found a really good balance between um, getting it done quickly and efficiently without too much work although it is a good bit of work it does take quite a while maybe about 20 minutes to a half an hour per uh, box so um, it definitely um, takes a bit of work but also we found that um, you can get boxes from uh, shops like sh supermarkets like Lidl for free and then you don't have to pay for them and you're upcycling as well so that's good for the environment of course the cling film isn't but what can you do you can reuse the pots you could even reuse the box. All, all in all, it's actually the best way that we found anyway uh, for ourselves that we can make it work and uh, be as ecologically sound as possible, especially during the winter time when we have our willows and then we use those for sticks and you can plant those then in the ground. So the spacers actually become trees, which offset it even more. So um, yeah, that's all there is to it. And we will see you at the next one. Bye bye.